This book developed out of work that I was doing with the American Immigration Council about 15 years ago, training new immigration lawyers how to litigate cases in federal court. Litigation is an important skill for immigration practitioners to have. Effective representation for a client means challenging the agency when it makes incorrect decisions or unreasonably delays your case. The book is a guide for new lawyers learning how to litigate, and it's also a resource for experienced litigators. For beginning practitioners, there's an overview of some of the main issues that often arise in litigated cases. Chapters typically begin with an overview of the statutory and constitutional framework. This provides useful background for new practitioners and provides a lens through which to understand the arguments that arise. The chapters typically also provide quick sites, um, easily accessible lists of favorable cases on the issue being discussed. These are sites that are often useful in writing briefs, so you don't have to do a lot of research to find the favorable cases. There are several recent Supreme Court decisions over the past couple years that have changed the landscape within which we work. These should be familiar to most immigration practitioners. Jennings, Thursigium, Guerrero Las Priya, Nis Chavez, and Patel. These cases cover a whole range of issues that affect our practice. Detention issues, expedited removals, judicial review of discretionary decisions, and review of consular decisions and mandamus actions. The fallout from these cases is still unresolved and lower courts are coming to inconsistent decisions. This book provides updates on the developing case law under these Supreme Court decisions. The main takeaways from this book is that readers will be well equipped to begin litigating and challenging unreasonable immigration decisions. There are a variety of practice advisories on litigation issues, but these are mostly ad hoc and they're not all in one place. This book provides a comprehensive description of the main issues that most often arise in litigation. These issues include jurisdiction and jurisdiction stripping provisions, expedited removals, motions to suppress and motions to reopen, challenging bond decisions, review of consular decisions, APA lawsuits and obtaining stays of removal, and finally, and importantly, requests for attorney's fees under the Equal Access to Justice Act.